What happens if you take an all digitally recorded band, take the final mix, copy it to a reel to reel analog tape deck, and then take the output and run it back into the computer? Do you get some of that mythical tape magic or not? Let's find out. I got permission from a buddy of mine, John DeBose, who's the founder of a prog rock band called Fervent Send, to use one of the tracks off their latest EP. It's called The Delicate Nature of the Undercooked Brain. It's a really cool prog rock track. Let's listen to just a few seconds. It's a really cool track. Trust me. If you listen to the whole thing, you'll really like it. I've included a link to the Fervent Send album in the video description below, so check it out if you're interested. Anyhow, the uh, the, the experiment we're going to do right now is, is see what happens to this track when we copy it to a tape deck and run it back into the computer. The first thing that I did was to calibrate the tape deck with a computer, and... It's interesting, negative 18 dB on the computer is equal to 0 dB on the meter of a tape deck. So I calibrated my tape deck to that level, as you see in the meters here. After the calibration was complete, I took the digital track, took the output of my audio interface and ran it into the reel-to-reel -reel tape deck. I then took the output of the reel-to-reel -reel tape deck and ran it back into my audio interface and recorded it in my DAW software. I then decided I wanted a slightly hotter mix. In other words, uh, something that was recorded at a higher level. So I calibrated the tape deck to negative 21 dB, which pushes everything up by 3 dB. I then did the same thing. I ran the output of the track into the tape deck, then ran the output of the recorded song on the tape deck back into the computer. What I'm going to do is play some excerpts from the song. Uh, first, we're going to hear the original digital mix. Then we're going to hear the same section of the songs played back at the negative 18 dB calibration to the tape deck. And then finally, we'll listen to those same sections of the song played back at negative 21 dB calibration with the tape deck.
Which one did you like better? Hmm. You know, I think there are differences. They're subtle, but they're definitely there. I'm not going to tell you which one I prefer. I would actually prefer that you all listen to each of the three and see what you think. Comment below. Tell me your opinion. Also, if you're interested in more critical listening, there's a link in the video description below so that you can download the uncompressed wave files. Listen to it on some good headphones or good speakers. See what you think. Like it? Dislike it? Subscribe to my channel. And as always, I'll see you all on the next video.